What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing to the original Windows Phone giant, the HTC Titan. This is the Titan 2. First announced at CES 2012, the Titan 2 brings LTE compatibility, a little bit of a bigger battery, and an improved camera to the relatively successful Titan line. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so this guy is gonna be available April 8th for $199, the same price as the $99 price Lumia 900 if you're considering going the Windows Phone route. So here is the box, HTC Titan, sort of the usual stuff that we see uh, with the specs on the back, 4.7 inch display, Windows Phone, dual cameras, Wi-Fi, but we'll run through all that. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Boom. Quick start guide, and you know what that's for. Getting started quickly. Uh, typical Windows Phone interface that we've seen. Here is the Titan 2. I had a chance to play with this guy uh, at CES and uh, test out that 16 megapixel camera in there. And it turned out to be a very impressive affair. Let's go ahead and see what else we're going to have in the box. Not too much. We've got, looks to be a battery cover. This is a battery that goes in from the bottom of the phone. So there is the battery door for that. We've got a wall charger with USB port. Then we've got a micro USB sync cable. Great, everything that we've seen, not a headphone to be found in that box. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Titan 2 and I'll run through all the specs of this guy. Texting and driving, it can wait. That is a true story. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. Very satisfying noise. Uh, Titan 2 looks like the folks at AT&T included a SIM card. This was sent to us from their PR department. Um, and, okay, let's go ahead and uh, pop that sucker in. Actually, it looks like the battery may not even be removable in this device. Uh, we'll take a look at it. I'll go ahead and power it on and uh, we'll talk about everything that this is packing. All right, so Titan 2. It's got that same uh, 4.7 inch display that we saw on the original Titan. A uh, Windows Phone limiting resolution of 480 by 800. That's 199 PPI if you are keeping track at home. Uh, it weighs 5.2 ounces from a dimension standpoint, 5.2 inches by 2.7 inches by 0.4 inches. Uh, the battery that I mentioned is a bit, a bit improved from the original Titan. A 1,730 milliamp hour battery. Uh, battery. Weighs 5.2 ounces, got the Qualcomm 1.5 gigahertz single core uh, Snapdragon, that's the S2. Uh, same 512 megabytes of RAM, same 16 gigabytes storage as the original Titan. On the back, 16 megapixel camera uh, that can shoot 720p video, dual LED flash right there. 1.3 megapixel shooter in the front. Go ahead and get started. Close. Uh, Bluetooth 2.1 and support for AT&T's LTE network with HSPA Plus as a fallback. All right, so we've got the Titan 2 all set up here. Let's do a tour of the device. So we've got your Windows Phone standard buttons. You've got your back button, which also serves for multitasking if you hold it down. Your home button or Windows button and your search button, which is going to bring up Bing search. There it is, letting you know we want to use Bing. Great. Some uh, privacy stuff. And then there we've got Bing search. So yeah, you can get your Bing on. Um, on the left-hand side of the device, we've got nothing uh, other than the micro USB charging port and syncing port. On the right-hand side, volume rocker up and down, which are very nicely pronounced, actually feel very nice in the hand. And then that dedicated camera button that Microsoft mandates on all their Windows phones. On the top, on the right side of the device, got your power and lock button, noise canceling microphone, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, on the bottom, we've got another noise canceling microphone. Uh, and I wanna clarify from uh, earlier, this is indeed a non-removable battery. The SIM slot slides right down below, but unfortunately, you cannot take the battery out. So there's a change over the original Titan. Uh, and there and there's that 60 megapixel camera, dual LED flash, and then the speaker grill. Uh, phone feels very nice in the hand. Let me bring in the original Titan for a comparison, so you can see the difference. Uh, they're a bit subtle at first, but there definitely is stuff that you will notice. Um, it's like that guy powered off. So here is uh, the original Titan, and from the front, they look very similar. AT&T logo is in the same place. Uh, something subtle 
you've got a proximity sensor right there that's a little bit more pronounced than on the original Titan. On the back, that's where you can start to see the difference. Uh, the Titan II here on the left, they've reversed where the LED flash is located. The back is now soft touch where it was uh, metal feeling on the Titan I. Windows Phone is now above that little bit of a, uh, a demarcation where soft touch started on the original Titan. So very subtle, you're gonna have to sort of try to notice the differences, but they're definitely there. And of course, you've got that big sort of sloping uh, accent point. Close all that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in another phone for comparison. Here is the Lumia 900 for AT&T, both available at the same time. Although $100 difference, this is a $200 phone versus $100 for the Lumia 900, you can see the difference there as well. Uh, but you do get the bigger screen, the 4.7 versus the 4.3 on the Lumia 900. Uh, so of course, we'll put this guy through all of its tests and let you know if it's worthwhile having a spot in your pocket. I love the original Titan One. The original Titan One was my daily driver for several months. So I'm very excited to see what LTE adds to this package. Uh, are you guys looking forward to the Titan II? If it came down to it and you had to pick the Lumia 900 or the Titan II, which one would you guys decide to go with? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave the comments down below. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and this has been an unboxing and first look at the HTC Titan II.